The government cracked down on genetic testing company 23andMe. The FDA says the Google-backed company has to stop selling those at-home kits that claim to tell you if you're at risk of developing certain diseases. ABC's Bianca Goladriga was tested herself, and she brings us the story. You're three percent East, East Asian. Asian. Oprah's done it. John Legend too. This is crazy. Even Kevin Bacon used it. Wow. No, not to play six degrees of Kevin Bacon, but to prove it through genetic testing, a way to determine heritage and unearth potential genetic medical risks. The online genetic testing company 23andMe brought the formerly expensive procedure to the masses with its $99 home saliva test. One of its slogans, strike back before cancer has a chance to strike. But now the FDA says the company has not provided any medical scientific evidence behind their claims. So the agency is demanding 23andMe discontinue marketing those kits immediately. Hundreds of things about my health. Citing possible health consequences from false positive testing. 23andMe is run by Ann Wojcicki, who is in the midst of a very public separation from Google Uber billionaire Sergey Brin, whose company backed the startup. In 2009, I sat down with Ann, and she told me the company's at-home tests would prove if you were at risk for as many as 250 different conditions, from lactose intolerance to Parkinson's. I'm really focused also on the prevention. A spokesperson for 23andMe tells ABC, quote, Our relationship with the FDA is extremely important to us, and we are committed to fully engaging with them to address their concerns. For Good Morning America, Bianca Goladriga, ABC News, New York. We're going to bring in now ABC News Chief Health and Medical Editor, Dr. Richard Besser. And Rich, I know you have great concerns about these kits. What yeah, are they? I, you know, I do. It's one thing to use a kit to find out about your ancestors or your risk of, of going bald. But if you're looking at medical information, your risk of, of the BRCA gene, breast cancer, mm -hmm. you want to make sure it's accurate. And in fact, by law, it has to be approved by the FDA. They have to demonstrate it's as accurate as every other test that's done at a, at a proper lab. FDA says none of the home test kits have gone through that and none of them have, have been approved. Right now, the best way to know your risk, mm -hmm. you know, for something like BRCA, you get a formal test, but other things you want to know about your family history, find out what diseases ran in your family. Have that, and we're, it's about to be Thanksgiving. That's Family's right. going to be around the table. Sit down, have ask that those conversation. Questions. Have yeah. that conversation. Yeah. I know you also want to talk about something else, uh, the, the what's called the Plan B yeah. contraceptive, early contraceptive pill. Yeah, this is really important. The European manufacturer of that pill yesterday said they want to change their label to indicate that the pill does not work in any woman who's greater than 176 pounds. Why is that? Well, they they looked at the studies to see why does it fail in some people, and they identified that weight was one of the big issues. Now, this brand of pill is not available here, but it's the same pill that's in the Plan B that's available over the counter. So, if you are in need of emergency contraception, there's a, a prescription product called Ella that works a little better if you're a heavier woman, or uh, the most effective is a copper IUD, but that isn't covered by all insurance. But make sure you understand understand that the morning after pill is not 100% effective, especially if you're a larger woman. Okay. All right. Thank yeah. you, Rich.